Well, how's it going, everybody? We are uh, we're back for part two of the the food forest, the permaculture food forest. And this is where I left you guys at last time with the blueberry. And um, I've got my well right here, and uh, this is just basically an empty area. You can barely see it. Um, man, this stuff's tall. A bunch of chicory, chicory and vetch and clover and some some grass, but. We had some bad storms last night, and my uh, swing blew over, so i got to pick that here up in a little bit. But this here is the terrace garden, and these are all black cherry trees, except for there's a mulberry right there I'm going to show you. Um, these are all black cherry trees, all these, and I top these smaller ones, those two, and uh, these two here um, on both sides of this big one. And I'm going to show you what they did. But I got grapes, raspberries, blackberries, um, all kinds of stuff growing up here along this fence that the birds have planted. You can hear them. They're all up in the trees right now. Um, but this is a terrace garden that uh, is pretty overgrown. I got a bunch of onions and uh, garlic and everything planted up here. And I've got a bunch of wild plums and stuff I've planted along the edges. Now, the reason I've done a bunch of plums and everything. I've got some mulberries, uh, spice bush over here along the other side going all the way up. Um, it's because these blackberries here, there's no stopping them. And um, I've kind of cut them back to make the terraces, but they like this soft, loose soil even more. And uh, this here will all eventually be a big, giant blackberry patch. Um, so I'm just trying to take advantage of the space while I can, while I uh, before it all becomes blackberries and stuff and up here where the onions and garlic are in fact I actually had to uh, To cut all the blackberry canes down to the, to the ground and plant all around But a lot of them are coming up and I think I might actually just do that, you know every other year or so uh, Or actually every year just just cut every other row all the way down the blackberry canes all the way down to the ground and uh, plant garlic and onions in there and um the, the the blackberries seem to actually do better when you do that, which is kind of funny. But I've got some locust trees growing in here. I didn't plant these. Um, I don't know. I'm sure, the birds or some some somehow they got in here. Um, and these are really good nitrogen fixers. I know a lot of people in, with food forests and permaculture plant the heck out of these. Um, I think they're pretty much useless unless you're going to use them for fence posts. There's no chop and drop in these because the wood lasts for forever. Um, this is the wood that they use for fence posts around here. Uh, I got a bunch of mint growing uh, down here and some basil and some kale. A um, bunch of stuff reseeded in here. And here's some spice bush. Now the spice bush go all the way up to the top. Um, I do have a couple mulberries. I think there's a mulberry. Yep, yeah, there's a mulberry right here. So I've got some mulberry trees mixed in. These are some seedlings that I dug up. Uh, and I got a whole bunch of them going all the way up, mixed in with the black cherries. Now over here I've got spice bush and um, wild citrus. <laughs> Check out these. Check out these wild cherries. This tree is just loaded. Did you guys hear my stomach growl? I saw the black cherries and my stomach started growling. That's funny. Uh, some Virginia creeper and a bunch of blackberries. Uh, there's my little weed whack path going up. And you can see the blackberries are going, going all the way in the rows. And I planted a bunch of corn and squash and pumpkins and sunflowers and all kinds of stuff. I just threw a bunch of seeds over there about three or four days ago. Uh, spice bush. Uh, I want to try to find the citrus in here somewhere. I know I planted a whole bunch, but... Oh, there's one. <laughs> Getting caught up in the blackberries. Another spice bush. Okay, here's some of the wild citrus seedlings. You can see the three leaves down here and the thorny. Right there. It's going to be a nice little bush, a little citrus bush. And uh, you can see, I mean, all you got to do is simulate this fence right here. And you'll have food growing. The birds and everything will plant everything along it. And uh, there's some more spice bush and blackberries and spice bush. And this spice bush actually has fruit on it. If I can get that in there. See the little fruits? 
All right, and here's some onions right in here. Here's the first row of onion beds. And uh, these were planted here this spring. I uh, got a bunch of them. Now, I didn't mulch this one, but I mulched everything else up here. And uh, these onions are doing way better. And uh, this onion patch goes all the way down, mixed in with the weeds. I don't fight the weeds. I don't see the, they don't, they don't bother them. They actually help, as far as I'm concerned. And here's the garlic I planted. This stuff here will be ready uh, in about a month. A couple different kinds. I also planted some Egyptian walking onions in here. Um, I think these are Egyptian. They look like garlic scapes, but those were the Egyptian onions. And some other weird onions I planted in here. Let me dig up a couple for you. Garlic. Yeah, yeah, about a month. These are good. Let me get me get an onion or uh, onion while I'm at it. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Nice little red onion. Here's the mulberry. Absolutely loaded with mulberry tree uh, fruits. And the birds planted this also too. Bunch of raspberries. And at the top up here I've got a wild plum. Some mulberries. Here's some mulberries that I planted. A couple cuttings and a couple seedlings. Here's a wild plum I planted. And then there's a purple leaf plum right over here where this little flag is. So that's pretty much it, guys. Tried to hurry up as much.